It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Peru professional baseball player, Jordan Blackmoon. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to play professional baseball? I always knew from a young age that if I had the chance to play professional baseball, that it's something I wanted to do. My dad pushed me when I was little to play baseball because that's what he played and that was his favorite sport and then I grew a passion for it and I knew that it was something I wanted to do. Can you talk about a course playing college at Houston Baptism? It was my experience at Houston Baptist University it was great. Um, It was you know my time there it wasn't as enjoyable as I wanted it to be or fulfilling because You know, through that time, I had injuries. I had a shoulder injury and a wrist injury and knee injury. So my playing, I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to, but the relationships I made and being able to get my bachelor's degree in sports management, um, it was a blessing in disguise. What was it like transitioning to Northeastern Oklahoma? Um, it It was interesting because that was a junior college. And out of high school, I never expected to even go to a junior college. My plan was to either get drafted and play professionally or go to, you know, a high level D1 school. But in high school, I played football as well. So I wanted to go somewhere where I could play both sports and Northeastern Oklahoma gave me that opportunity. What was it like balancing playing football and baseball in college? Very difficult. Um, There was, I would go to football practice camps in the morning and at football practice in the afternoon. And then I would try to swing by the baseball field and go to baseball practice, you know, just so I could stay on the coach's good side for both teams. And it was a grind because all those practices and then in football you have to learn plays and learn offenses and schemes and all of that so it was it was very challenging but it was definitely a fun experience and okay. I, if anyone if anyone has the opportunity to do that i feel like you should pursue that of course with you transferring from northeastern to houston did you pursue football or did you just decide to just do baseball i ended up I decided to just do baseball. I ended up getting hurt playing football. I hurt my collarbone, AC joint area, and I had to make a decision because I loved football just as much as I love baseball. But I had to make a decision to where what would be where I can make the highest level, you know, and play professionally and Based off what scouts and coaches would tell me, baseball was my best shot of, you know, making it to the next level. What was it like in college to put on the uniform? Um, it was amazing. You know, dream dream come true. It's when you're little, it didn't really sink in. But when you're little, you watch, you know, TV, you watch college baseball, and you're like, that's I want that to be me one day, you know? And... When, you, when it finally happened, it's like, this is, it's not really a shock because it's, I knew this is always what I wanted to do and I was confident that would happen, but it's just like, wow, you know, time flies and those people on TV that I was watching, that's me now, you know. What was your route to go into the professionals? So I'm in the Puerto Rican Pro League. Um, decided to go overseas route. My, as I said before, I had injuries. So my, my college career wasn't as, you know, prestigious as other people's. And it had nothing to do with my talent because 
I had the talent and I was good enough. I just was not able to be on the field health health wise. So with that being said, I wasn't drafted in the past draft, but I had the opportunity with me being a decent player and people knowing my talent and what I can do. I had the opportunity to play professional baseball in Puerto Rico and got offered a contract to play out here. Can you talk about, of course, getting the offer to play for Puerto Rico and putting on the Puerto Rico jersey? Um, it was amazing. It was, you know, a dream come true to play. You know, everybody's goal usually that plays sports is to play professionally. And, you know, this wasn't the route I thought I would take, but it's a part of my journey. And I'm, I'm just still blessed to have this opportunity with all of the injuries and everything I've been through. Um, like, a couple of years ago, I had a knee surgery and the doctor told me that I would never play, you know, I would never play sports again. And just to prove him wrong and prove myself right, you know, and rehab and grind and get back to this opportunity, it's just a blessing. Can you talk about, of course, what it was like putting on the Puerto Rico jersey for the first time and playing? It was amazing. Um, just putting on that jersey and going out on that field and playing against other great players it, it was a surreal feeling and it was also uh, different because now you know I'm playing with grown men you know I'm used to playing in college and you know I was the oldest one of the oldest people on the field and now I'm playing with you know 35 year olds and you know grown men and great players and it's just a blessing to be out there in that field it was an unbelievable feeling. What was the transition like from you from going from college where you were injured to now making it into the professionals? Um, it was, for me, honestly, it was a smooth transition. Um, the game, the game in the professional level moves at a faster pace, but it's, that's, I just have that twitch for, you know, the professional baseball for that, that pace, because college, you know, slows the game down, pitching is slower and everything. And honestly, I always had a problem with that, but in the professional level, everything speeds up and it's just your natural abilities catch up and it's been a smooth transition so far. I just hope to continue grinding and getting better. What is some of your game day rituals that you have? Game day rituals. Uh, really don't have any rituals. I guess one thing I do is whenever I stretch, my favorite, my number is three. So well, this past year I was number one, but my number has always been three and my favorite number is three. So like I'll do weird stuff. Like I'll walk across the line three times and come back while whenever I'm stretching, I like go down three times and count to count to 10, like three times, just something weird like that, just to keep me, keep me going and wish me uh, luck in the game, you know, a little superstition. What was the transition like from you from being, of course, it's still a baseball player, but now also being a baseball instructor? Um, <clears throat> it's, excuse me, it's, um, it's simple, you know, because it's baseball. Um, the, only, the only thing I would say is challenging is when I'm playing, you know, I have my own style of play, you know, and how I do things, but everybody is different. So when you're instructing, you know, you have to see what they're doing and what they can do in their skill set and then try to help them to do help them do what best fits them. And you know, that's really the main thing, just using my knowledge to help them, which is natural, but also, you know, figuring out their bodies and how they can get better because you know, we're all built differently and have different talents and skill sets and things like that. Of course, as a baseball instructor, what levels of instructing do you do? starting from, of course, the peewee level all the way up to where you are now with the major leagues? Um, little league and college. The highest I've done is college players. Um, I have a lot of – I work with a lot of kids, little kids, get just getting into the game. That's been my main market right now. And I've also worked with, you know, freshmen, freshmen in college who are just now getting in college and trying to figure their – figure its way out so hopefully as I advance in the game and you know my resume grows I can get on that professional level you know with professional players 
what is it like to help a course the freshmen just now getting into college? Um, it's, you know, it's fun because I was there not too long ago. So I know what they're going through. I know what you need to do to be successful, how you need to take care of your body, how you need to train, how you need to practice, um, the work you have to put in. And I can just give them little nuggets and wisdom and advice of how to do better with also my knowledge of the game. So what are some of your accomplishments on the professional level and then the college level? Well, on the college level, with me being injured a lot, personal accomplishments don't have too many. Um, I was an academic All-American two years at Houston Baptist University and this past year at William Carey University. I was an academic, Barnes and Noble academic All-American. Um, I also, we won the conference tournament while I was in college, that's an accomplishment. Um, well, team accomplishment, not individual. Um, and yeah, I just, I had, oh yeah, also, um, when I was in junior college, I led the region in stolen bases. So that was an individual accomplishment that I had. And then on the professional level, you know, I'm just getting started, but, you know, I got my first, first professional hit and that was cool. You know, I have the little ball for it and everything. And my team, we made it to the championship game um, this past weekend, actually, and we lost. But that was that was nice to be able to play in a championship game on the professional level. And hopefully I have many more accolades and accomplishments to come. What are some of your future plans on your professional baseball career? Um, just seeing where it takes me. Um, I had the opportunity to play this professional season in Puerto Rico, and I had a, had a very good season. So I'm glad to see where this will take me. And um, a few teams have been in contact with me, and I'm just waiting for them to see if they will offer me a contract or what, what we want to do or where I want to go from here. But I know that because I want to go back to the States and play, of course, you know, in the major leagues, that's everyone's goal. That's what I want to do. But I know that I always have an option out here if those things don't happen. When it comes to, of course, playing in the MLB in the States, what are some of the things that you are doing right now to help your game? Working out every day, um, going to the gym, getting my body right, um, playing catch, long tossing, um, getting my arm better. Um, that's something that I've worked on tremendously over the past year, and I'm starting to see improvement. Um, and mainly just staying healthy. That's really been my main problem. So, you know, taking care of my body, staying fresh, eating right, doing things like that so, so that I can be on the field and show, you know, how good I really am. And this past year, I was able to stay healthy for a full season, and that's something I haven't done in the last four years. So I'm on the right track for sure. What would be your dream ideal place to go play in the major leagues? Oh, hands down, the Texas Rangers. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas, so Texas Rangers, that's right around the corner. That's my neck of the woods, so that would be an honor to play for my hometown team. What advice would you have college – baseball players looking to make it in college baseball? Um, whether you're, you know, the best player in college baseball, or whether you're, you know, a, a no name, but have a little talent, never, never give up on your dream. Um, people may tell you, oh, this is, you need to just go get a job or oh, you need to do this or you need to do that. But no, if, if it's something you want to do, you got to chase your dreams and put yourself out there. If you're good enough, there's always going to be an opportunity for you. But, you know, just work hard. Keep grinding. You, you have to work hard. You, you can't get here without putting in hard work. So keep grinding. Believe in yourself. Work hard. Um, put yourself in the right situations to be seen and be successful. And good things will happen for you. What advice would you have college players looking to make it into the professionals? Um, 
you just if you're making it looking to make it to the professionals you just you need to put yourself out there um put up the best numbers you possibly can um and also you know go to go to camps if you're you know if you're if you're not seen if you go to a lower level school or if your team's not as well go to camps get seen you know put yourself in front of people go to tryouts if you have to um you know do anything to get yourself in the area with scouts and people on the next level that can help you get in people get in touch with people like me you know people that have been there before and can give you advice and help you through it what advice would you give players that are in the professionals looking to make it to the major leagues um <clears throat> That's something I could use some advice on as well. But really, just keep grinding. You know, don't give up on your dream. If it's, if it's something you want to do, don't give up on it because you have such a short time period in your life to live your dreams, you know, and especially if it's possible, if it's realistic. Um, so just keep grinding, put in the, the most work you can, the most effort, and good things will happen for you, you know. That's great advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, I just made a new Instagram. My other one got hacked. At Jordan Blackman Official. You can find me there on Instagram. Um, also, Twitter. J-I-B underscore two three. That's where you can find me. But yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram at Jordan Blackman. Thank you again, Jordan Blackman, for your interview, and best of luck in your future and your professional baseball career. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Joff underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Jordan, for your interview, and best of luck. No problem. Thank you. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.